And I always like to, to ask artists because of the onset and this transformation, as I said, like even, even for myself, you know, I used to go out and buy physical copies and that's not necessary anymore. You, you might buy a digital download of it. How does that change what you guys do? Because, you know, you used to, I, I know that the, the percentage of the value of the sale wasn't very high, but a lot of bands, you know, made their living off selling physical copies. And oh. these days it seems that pretty much the album is just, the teaser, the trailer to try to get you to go out and see the show and then to sell merch. So how, how does that work for you guys now in terms of how you make your living? I think you nailed it on the nose right there. I mean, really that's what we have to do. I mean, granted, there's always an X amount of physical copies. And I mean, you gotta, you gotta understand like the metal industry itself, like the, the underground scene, you know, whether or not it's punk rock or if it's or hardcore death metal, black metal, literally is what saved the vinyl industry you yes know, yeah. to the point where the vinyl industry is now saturated you know to the mm. point where they can't get the vinyl out fast enough They're, the factories aren't there anymore there's only a few of them and it's the bands that go out and they play live that produce that vinyl for us old schoolers that prefer to have vinyl even though you know for us to even have a, re- a regular record player anymore is kind of like you know, old hat, you're lucky if you have an old techniques with the diamond needle and, you know, and you put on your wax, you usually use real wax. That's kind of gone. Most of the people that are buying those vinyls are taking them and getting them signed and hanging them on their wall. They want to have it as a collector piece Mm. more than they're using it to listen to music. And the people that really want to just have a CD, a physical copy, they go to the shows and buy them. So yeah, we're not like, you know, we have to go out and we have to be playing live in order to keep our, our album sales consistent. You know, it's not like it was back in the day where a band could do one tour and their record sales are up through the roof and everybody is going out and buying the records. Yeah. They don't have to anymore. Now they want to go to the show in order to buy it. And that's really what they have to do. If not, everything's digital. And if they didn't buy it digitally, they just downloaded it like Napster, mm. you know? Which I, I would have to say, if you're in a country and, and you don't have money and you can't buy it and you know suffocation and you like a record, fuck it, download it. You know what I mean? I would rather you listen to the music and maybe that one day you can get to a concert or go to a show or buy our next record because you you know you, you like the band, even though you just had to. You know, it's kind of like that point where you had to take the cassette and hit the record button from the other cassette, you know, yeah, yeah. and record it in order to get it from your friend, you know?